Why don't we start with NHIF rather than now bringing the SHIF? That is the question which Yvonne Okwara have asked William Ruto's administration. And let's, let's watch this video. So why didn't we, later. let me ask, so why didn't we just stay with NHIF until such time as the financial situation of this country improves? I mean, some things seem like basic common sense, no? I mean, it's perhaps you have well-intentioned and there is all of these things we want to do in terms of primary health care, emergency and chronic care, well and good. But if you don't have the money to fund it, must you roll it out in this financial year? There's a date that was set of 1st of October. And that date there's is cast in stone? There's a deadline of November 22nd. Okay, so what happens if we get to November 22nd and we don't have that? What, the, the, we'll, we fall off the we'll, face we'll, of the earth? We'll the world speak, ends? We'll speak to Linus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just, you know, it seems the government has this invisible gun to its head for God knows what reason. I mean, if you don't have those funds, even in laws, you, what, put a clock on things? We've kicked the can down the road with several matters before. Why would you have an emergency and chronic care fund and you have only two billion as opposed to 75 billion that you had intended for it? So just don't roll it out. Just put all of this on hold. I mean, am I? Yeah. The, the, the... Now, as this is happening, the MP, I don't know the name, yesterday I analyzed him, is still exposing, exposing 104 billion. 104 billion to be given to Adani's group on using shift, whichever shift it is. Yesterday I, exp I exposed this MP. I know, sorry, I analyzed this. I'm just trying to flash back. The name of this MP, 104 billion. And even today I watch him, it was after this. It was after this, on this movement. They are only having interest to deduct you on this shift. Even me, I had asked myself several questions. Why must we just use the, 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 the shift? rather than the NHF, which you are using. Even Okwara is speaking sense. By the way, I normally like Yvonne Okwara, whatever she's saying. Sai economy ni mbaya. Sai economy ni mbaya. Tenu wongeza Kenya, wa Kenya wa gara mengine. Wewe umefurahia. Umefurahia. Hey. Hey. You never learn to appreciate that 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 chance you've been given. Kazi yako ni kuleta tormentation. Kila saa shif. Kesu ingine shif. Ata kote saa hii ya otaki yu mambo ya shif. They are still insisting you must use shif. Social health insurance fund. Which is not a bad idea. But at what time is Ruto bringing this? Even without consulting Kenyans, are you preferring SHIF or do you still want to proceed with the NIF? With him, asha leta yake. Eh, hey, mimi ndi wakusema. Ya yeah, asha leta yake. Na kutu very comfortable. He takes things as usual, as normal. Before even you consult Kenyans, na wewe mwenyewe ulianza na biashara ya kuuza kuku. Mutu, watu wanza mbali. Maybe mimi pegini nilianza na kupalili ya miwa. Uwezi jua. Kidogo kidogo bado na songa, sija fika. Wewe mwenye unantazama, maybe ulianza na kuchota mchanga. Ama moshi na kuchapa uso vibaya sana. Ama ulianza na mambo mingi. Ama ulekua mganga. Inakuanga hivo. Lakini, mbona tusijiulize. 
Why are they just interested on this shift? Madam Susan Nakumisha was the one who drafted this. And I keep on telling her during that time that she is heading this country into a wrong direction. Today is another lady. Very happy, thrilled. Shift. So maybe Mutadidaktiwa uh, NHF is shift. Na KRA sasa. Na hizo zingine. Ujongeza housing bill. Wanadidakt bila hata kuangalia. Pesa ngapi wa Kenya wanatumianga. Kila mwaka. Pesa ngapi mwingine wanapata. Tabu juu ya tabu. Sikatai watu gonjeka. Watu gonjeka. Ato uwe na muna gani. Lakini, how can we find the best solution on even lowering the cost of deduction in this government? Must we just deduct everything? Is it pesas in end wapi? Kuna mwenye lidakti wa amekufa sai? Hana? Haija msaidia? Tuma, tu, tuseme tu kweli? Haija msaidia? Sawa? Tunaishi kwa imani ya Mungu. Kila mtu hata huyo rais. Lakini mbona asikae na ile kiwango cha kuuliza wa Kenya hii pesa na wadeduct. How much are you preferring to be deducted? With them wanaweka hata maximum amount. Unasikia sasa hii 1.4 billion inapotea kwa shift. They are very much comfortable. And that is what even Okwara is asking. She is after Term is not on my side. I've ended my today's political discussion or analyst at this point. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. And let's meet on another video. If you've never subscribed to this YouTube channel, please subscribe. Like my video. Watch, share, and give us your opinion. Bye-bye.